So what got you first interested in making films? I have always been interested in making films, right from the very start, as far back as I possibly remember. So like, probably from about nine, ten years old. I used to go with my grandparents to look at the camera shops, I was always interested. When did you first join the IAC? We joined the IAC in 1995 and I think our first festival was Milton Keynes. Um, we went down for just for the first one day I think on the first festival and since then we've been to everyone apart from one when we had a wedding to film. So that's been for how many years was that? 95? Yeah. Lots of years, work it out. <laughs> I think it's a good organisation to do. What benefits do you get from it? Well, it's a place where you can get your film shown. So, like when you, you make a film because you want an audience to see it, so it's a good place where you're going to have your audience see your films and judges can see your films. You can get feedback on what people think about it. So, uh, it is somewhere where you can get to see it. But it's a shame that it's not attracting younger people because everybody's getting older. And, Inevitably, it will um, it will fade away unless we can recruit new younger people. You write for the magazine as well. What, do you think that's an important part of the IAC? I think the magazine is very important. I mean, people can get things off the website, but I think having a physical magazine in your hand is an important thing to have, and it keeps people in touch. I mean, not everybody has access to the internet. Older people tend not to, so uh, it's just a way of communicating, letting people know what's happening, and passing news around telling people when the festivals are coming up and things, so I think the magazine is very important.